We have the most exotic and powerful. Behind me are the most expensive cars in the world. A million dollars. This kind of no joke. We got our hands on over 250 million dollars worth of cars. One of them even costing a hundred million dollars. And we're gonna be exploding, sailing, driving and even flying all of these cars to show you why they're so expensive. Starting with this $1 car. Literally a rust bucket. Why are you selling this car for a dollar? Well, you see, it's pretty much worthless. And I can't put any time or money in this thing. If you grab this dollar, the deal is final. Now, obviously, this is a piece of garbage. But when you spend 20K on repairs, it actually runs. All right, let's get this bad boy started. I did not think it would start. How is this thing driving? It smells like smoke. This is crazy! One dollar car! One dollar car! One dollar oh. Look at that Lambo! One dollar car! One dollar car! One dollar car! Alright, well that was the one dollar car. Glad I wasn't in that. Bring in the hundred thousand dollar car, which drives itself. No joke, no one is currently in this car and it is moving. Let's see what a hundred grand gets you. There's a lot of room in this car. This is one of the few cars that can actually fit all my kids. Do you have kids? Yeah, all of them. Let's take it for a little spin. The real reason you're buying a Tesla is because it can drive itself. Alright, I'm no longer driving the car. Oh. It's switching lanes. It's Whoa! It is literally driving itself. My feet pedals. are not touching the gas and I'm not touching the steering wheel. Jimmy, are you telling me now you can take a nap while driving? No, don't do that. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, let's see how fast the car can go. <laughs> it jerks you backwards. That's terrifying. This is just the beginning. Later, we have a car that literally transforms into an airplane and flies. Hey, but this car on the planet. It's like a tank. Is this a military grade car? <laughs> yeah, this is so high up. You were also just in a Lamborghini to be fair. True, true. <laughs> perspective. <laughs> Let's go over what makes this car so safe. First things first is the bulletproof windows that are this thick. The car is also encased in explosive proof armor that we're going to put to the test later on. Carl, do you want to press the button? Uh, so bad. Do you want to hit the smoke screen button? Please. Whoa. Whoa. That is crazy. We have a literal smoke screen. Oh my gosh, it smells. <laughs> but the best part is none of these features are what make the car really safe. It's the literal explosive proof frame around the car. And we're going to be the first people to test it. And for reference, before we blow up the $300,000 car, we're going to blow up a normal car to see if the passengers survive. Three, two, one. Not only is it on fire, but the mannequins literally flew out of the car. It blew a sunroof into that thing. It doesn't handle it well at all. And before we blow up this car, I'm gonna put feastables inside of it. Better protect my freaking chocolate. So supposedly this car is explosion proof, but that's never been tested. Let's see if the mannequins and even more importantly, the feastables survive. Three, two, one. Jump. The car actually survived the blast with only a few minor scrapes. It put a tent in the window. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where are the feastables? Chandler? Oh, oh, I almost hit it. <laughs> oh, I just left the keys in here? How'd nobody steal it? And even though this costs twice as much, it has half as much space. I don't know if I'd pay 200K for this car because I don't fit in it. Do they even know how to drive a Lamborghini? I would do Ford. I think you just click the shifter. All right, and now we're on the road. Oh, that sound. Oh my gosh, she sounds angry. Dang, she's got some power. Oh my gosh, this car is insane. I'm barely touching the gas and we're flying. This might be the fastest car I've ever driven. If you need to compensate for something, this is definitely the car. And now we are at the $300,000 car. And this is supposedly the safest Get car. Get out the way. Taylor, the Feastable survived. If you're looking for a car that can take a bomb, I officially recommend this one. But since we're not going to war anytime soon, for only an extra $200,000, you can get this $500,000 boat car. On land, this is a normal car. You can't really tell the difference. But here's the fun part. Just drive it in the water, and it turns into a boat. We're gonna let Carl go first. Here we go! Oh, this doesn't feel right. This doesn't feel right. I'm having them go first just so I can make sure it works. Are we sinking? No, we're floating! Oh. It looks like it worked. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, we're going we're driving in the water. Holy! So you press this until you hear a beep. That's a beep. Now I should be able to drive this like a normal car, but on the water. Tia, hold on. <laughs> Woo! Oh! 
This is incredible! Woo! This was literally a car five seconds ago. Yeah! All right. You know, I wouldn't be out there with him, but I get car sick and boat sick. Oh, we're getting there! Oh! <laughs> whoa! 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 Oh my God! All right, Carl. All right. <laughs> Carl! They should not have let me drive this. <laughs> Woo! We got it, baby! Rule number one, stay really far away from Chris. We're driving in circles. Ah, get... Oh, they're doing donuts in the water. They're making a whirlpool. I just stay here and watch it take off. I'm going to go in that plane and follow it. I just don't believe that this is actually going to fly. It's taking off! The wheels aren't on the ground anymore! It's literally a car that's flying! These cars are getting crazier and crazier. I can't even believe my eyes. There is a car a mile above my head right now. <laughs> oh my God. That was so cool. I feel like for $600,000, this is a steal. Up next is the $1 million car, but I didn't only bring one of them. As you can imagine, there are a lot of $1 million cars out there. So to make sure I brought your favorite, we got the 10 coolest $1 million cars. And as per usual, we had the entire racetrack to ourselves. So I let my friends choose whatever. Just met this guy five seconds ago. We're gonna race. Three, two, one, go! Oh, he's just so much faster. He's not even trying. Come on, faster! Oh, we're destroying him. Oh, it's the smoke show! I can't believe we just beat him. This thing goes way too fast. I can't think of a better way to celebrate a win than a Feastables bar. Hey, have some Feastables. Oh! Hey! I got it! Feastables is the number one chocolate on the planet. If you're not eating it, you should fix that. The fact that all three of us are driving cars on the ocean is insane. Jimmy, I love this thing so much! And the craziest part is, this is just the beginning of this video. The next car on our list can literally fly. And since I'm afraid of heights, I let Carl and Nolan take this one. <laughs> Dude, what is happening? This car is not only completely street legal, but it also has wings that can take it literally 8,000 feet in the sky. There's literally a propeller on that car. Stay here. Whatever car they wanted. I'm gonna just ride with you, you pick. Look at this puke. Am I gonna fit in this? All right, I'll try not to text and drive. It's private property, it's technically legal here. <laughs> oh, here we go. Well, jinx it. I feel like I'm in NASCAR. I'm having so much fun. This feels like Fast and Furious. There's just something so masculine about driving overpriced, loud cars. On a private racetrack. On a private racetrack. <laughs> Hold on, I got a set of texts. No. <laughs> I'm crashing this. Please don't. Car. <laughs> oh my god, we're doing donuts in a million dollar car. <laughs> And while the game's whizzing around the track, I want to show you the next car. This $2 million limited edition hydrogen car. No joke, this car is completely powered by hydrogen and actually exhales drinkable water as exhaust. But the car is still being developed, so this is just a prototype. I don't think I've ever struggled this much to get in a car. Whew. All right, let's see how she closes. First impressions, door kind of slow. We're about to turn on the road. This is a really big deal because this car has never been driven on a road before. Oh, you should have told me before I got in. They built this car as a proof of concept, so driving it on the road is questionable. Oh, look at that lady over there. That person over there is literally filming our car. <laughs> and while we're driving, I want to tell you about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 phone. And what's special about this phone is it literally folds in half. Boom, half the size. Also, I'd wear a seatbelt, but it doesn't have one. They haven't gone that far yet. <laughs> the folding screen on the Flip 5 makes the phone fit in your pocket better. and also allows you to use two apps at the same time. Show them. Let me show you. On the bottom half of the phone, I have Google, and on the top half, we're watching a Mr. Beast video. Oh, snap. 
Bro, this boy gets up there. Yeah. Even though this car uses hydrogen instead of gas, it still has a range of over a thousand miles and a top speed of 221 miles per hour. And another cool thing about this phone is it can record in 4K 60 FPS. You can even record while it's folded. In fact, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is the official vlog camera of the channel. Oh, listen to that engine. What? That's such a cool sound. It literally has a front facing camera even when you close it down. The Flip 5 is the most innovative phone Samsung has ever made. Click the link in the description to cop one right now. Do it. There's a lot of cars around me and everyone. Get away from my $2 million car. <laughs> I'll see you at the next car. Back at the racetrack, the car yet. Costing 10 100 pounds. Your most modern cars are 4,000. It's more comparable to Nolan's mom than another car. That's right, exactly. In fact, Nolan's mom was really the one they used as the benchmark. <laughs> You guys want to go for a ride? Uh, of course. There's no way getting in that middle seat is actually comfortable. Oh, it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. It doesn't look bad at all. It's comfortable. It's oddly comfortable to have a Vader is the only one in existence. So this is the world's fastest production car? Oh my god. And with literal crushed diamonds in the paint, the insurance companies would only let the owner drive it. That's probably the coolest door I've ever seen in my life. You're crazy. All right, let's do this. Do this. Fun fact, I made a grown man cry. Really? Yeah, I scared the crap out of him. <laughs> I'm gonna put my head back so I don't get whiplash. <laughs> It's so fast! What's up? The reason this car is one of the fastest on the planet is because of its twin turbocharged V8 engine. And the fact that its entire frame is made out of air core carbon fiber, making it weigh 500 pounds less than a Lamborghini. I've never witnessed anything like this before. like riding in a roller coaster. My heart is pounding. That's crazy. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let's go hang out with Jay Leno and see what a $20 million car looks like. All right. Jay Leno was the king of The Tonight Show for over 20 years. Today, he's the proud owner of one of the most impressive car collections in the world, including this $20 million McLaren F1. Did, did it just start doing that because of you? It's high tech. <laughs> Robbers, don't try that. And what makes it so valuable? It's a V12 carbon fiber. It's extremely light and it was 241 miles an hour, which is still the fastest for a non-turbocharged, not supercharged car. I'll show you something kind of cool. It got three seats, as you can see. Wow. The car is about 23. Have three seats like this. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. Because normally this is where the wheel is. Exactly. Or, or if you were in England, this is where this wheel would be. Oh, that's right. Yeah. right. You can be in England, you can be in America. <laughs> How long have you had this car? What year were you born? 1998. Actually, I got this in 98. I popped out of my mom and he's like, you know what, let's celebrate by buying this That's car. That's right, now here's the second part. I'm your dad. Oh. <laughs> oh. Interesting. How much did you buy this for? I paid 800000 Wow. And I bought it and people thought, oh, you'll never get your money back in. But then it just went up and up and up and up. And now they're $20 million, you know, so it's it's crazy. This car basically made you a million dollars a year every year you own it. I guess that's fair to say, yeah. Carl, what do you think of the car? I like it. What's stopping you from buying one? Um, $19.9 million. <laughs> Have you ever had a wreck? Oh, yeah. I've had a lot of rig. Thank you so much for taking us out. No problem, guys. That was perfect. These next two cars are so expensive that they are literally locked away in a museum at all times. Combined, they cost $80 million, and somehow we convinced the museum to give us the cars. Looking good. And this is where the video gets literally mind-blowing. Crank this bad boy up. Oh, That's wow. the 30 miller. Let's hear the 50 miller. Not gonna lie, I like the $50 million one a little better. So I jumped in the $50 million car with Donut Media, and Chandler got in the $30 million car with Bo Bachman, the car legend. You ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do this! The reason the car that Chandler is in is so expensive is because it was specifically constructed as a gift from the founder of Ferrari to the founder of Ford. This is the only version of this Ferrari ever made in human history. Oh, watch out for this bump. No scrapage. Okay, you don't really notice how like crappy the street is until you drive something that's $50 million. The car we're in is the most expensive Jaguar in existence. It was the legendary actor Steve McQueen's daily driver, and he got so many speeding 
tickets driving it that his license was actually suspended. I'm noticing everything are so expensive, we have an entire police escort dedicated to making sure nobody comes close to the cars. This is insane. Hey, get some speed. Uh, how's it drive? Beautifully. Woo! Oh, my hat! Oh, well. <laughs> and while we were all having fun, Bo Bachman pushed a $30 million car to its absolute limit. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hold on, the car stopped. Hold on one second. We hit it too, too hard. <laughs> the $30 million car stalled. We're gonna hop out of these things before we break them. Let's go drive the $100 million world's first Ferrari. Most people would imagine a $100 million car would look something like this. But you'd be surprised to find out that this is the $100 million car. This car is so historic and valuable that this museum representative is the only person on earth allowed to drive it. It's only allowed to be driven on this bridge. We had cops completely close the roads and we even had street cleaners fill in every pothole and clean the entire street to ensure that nothing damages this $100 million car. This is gonna be crazy! All right, and now we're on the bridge! Oh my God, look at that. $100 million barreling down the street. I keep losing my hat! He lost his hat! <laughs> That's the second time! Most expensive car comes with a free hat. Come on. Come on. This is awesome! They have one thing more fun than this! All right, floor it! Let's go! Oh my god, this is awesome! I hope you guys enjoyed the video! Let's drop a nuke on the bridge!